Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Our Daily Word this morning. It is Friday. We have reached the end of another week, and so it's rainy Friday. It looks like we might get a lot of rain today and even tomorrow, So, but we need it. We need it badly, so thank God for the rain. So I'm glad you could join me for our time together again today and for our ongoing conversation around Scripture and what it means for us and then how we use it um, to apply it to our daily lives to help us live better. And I think that's our goal in all of this is that we just try to live better and um, do what God would call us to do with our lives. So I've chosen um, just this one verse from Psalm 17. However, um, the entire Psalm is a powerful word that we get from the psalmist. Um, but it's long, and I chose not to read all of it, and instead chose this one verse from here. Psalm 17, verse 8. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. So the entire psalm is a prayer for deliverance from prosecutors folks who were chasing after the psalmist. And there's lots of words that we could apply. But then there's this particular verse um, that jumped out at me that I wanted to share with you. So, you know, when I'm distressed or tired or struggling or in trouble or seeking answers, one of the things that I always default to um, is to sing. Sometimes I go in the sanctuary and sing and just practice some songs that I might do later. Sometimes I sing old songs. Sometimes I go back to the songs of my childhood, songs that I learned in Sunday school um, or even in church when we used to have a hymn sing. Um, some of those songs that jump out at me, um, you may not know, but songs like Back of the Clouds, um, the sun is always shining. Um, there's a song called Jesus Shepherd Pilot Me. Um, that was a favorite of a lady who I was a pastor of who lived to be, I think she lived to be 104. And whenever we would be in conversation or share in communion or, or uh, when I visited her at Dorothy Love, especially at the end, um, she would want to sing Jesus Savior Pilot Me. And she knew the words. It's it's those things, those songs, those memories um, that give us pause. And for me, you know, it's this, it's this thing that sustains me. And I have to tell you, this week, the last couple, three weeks, I've been singing a lot. It's been difficult, challenging weeks. And this week was a tough week, too, um, with lots of different things. Not bad, necessarily. Um, just things that you know that we have to go through. Um, and so... I've been singing a lot, singing all kinds of songs. This scripture and all of it that we read, if we were to read the entire psalm, um, it's a reminder to us that when we're when we are being chased down by prosecutors, when life is difficult, when it seems we can't make heads or tails of what's happening to us. It's then, you know, that the psalmist reminds us that God, and we ask God, but we know that God keeps me as an apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You know, we should remember those words and hold on to them because for us, they are ancient words that tell of God's abiding presence with us. And I think too, you know, we should pass along those songs to those that need them the most. And so for us, um, we've reached the end of another week, you know, places in the South, Florida, and, and now Georgia and South Carolina, um, they are getting hit by rain, rain that we're probably going to feel the effects of all the way here in Ohio. 
It could be that storm surge. It could be something else in us, though, that brings us to this point. And we're encouraged to say these words of the psalmist. God, keep me as an apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. And of the entire psalm, there's so much there. But of Psalm 17, verse 8, this is what speaks to me today in the midst of my difficulties um, of the last three weeks that don't want to ease up anytime soon. Um, but here we are. And it's this reminder that, that uh, God has not abandoned us in the midst of our lives. So that's our daily word for today. And I hope it's a good word for you. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for saying good morning or good afternoon whenever you watch. Um, I appreciate that. And uh, I look forward to seeing you Sunday morning at 1015 for worship, either in person or here. And then also, again, here Monday morning at 10 o'clock as we share our daily word together. Have a great day. Know of God's love and know of my love for you.